Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's try our next example where we're given three cases and we're supposed to find the value for x in each case such that the two lines a and b should be parallel. All right, so assuming that they're parallel, what's the value for x? That's another way of asking it. So here we can see that we have the angle of 120 degrees and the angle of 3x degrees. What we're looking for is we're looking for corresponding interior or corresponding exterior angles. And I also know that what we call opposite or vertical angles are equal to each other, which means that this angle must be 120 degrees as well because those two angles are what we call vertical angles. And that means that now we have two corresponding exterior angles and we know that if A and B are parallel, those two must be equal to each other. So we can say that 120 degrees must equal 3x degrees. We can divide both sides by 3. That means that 40 degrees is equal to x. So in the first case, x must equal 40 degrees, and then lines A and B will be parallel. We use the same, uh, the same trick, so to speak, the same mathematical trick, in case 2. In case 2, we can see that these two angles, they're called vertical angles or opposite angles, they must be equal. So I'll write this as 135 degrees. And now we have two corresponding interior angles. And we know that they must be equal to one another. Essentially, they must be congruent to one another if lines A and B are parallel to one another. So we can write that 2x plus 15 must equal 135. Subtract 15 from each side, so we have 2x equals 135 minus 15, or 2x is equal to 120, therefore x is equal to 60 degrees. So there, of course, we know they're all degrees, so therefore we know that when x is equal to 60 degrees, case two, in case 2, lines A and B are parallel to one another. So in this third case right here, we can see that we have two consecutive interior angles, and we know that they are supplementary, supplementary, so they must add up to 180 degrees. So we can say that 150 degrees plus 3x minus 15 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. All right. So the first thing I can do is uh, the following. I can say that 150 can be subtracted from both sides. So we have 3x degrees minus 15 degrees is equal to 180 degrees minus 150 degrees. Or in other words, 3x degrees minus 15 degrees is equal to 30 degrees. Now I can add 15 degrees to both sides. So I have 3x degrees is equal to 30 degrees plus 15 degrees. And then continuing over here, I can then say that 3x degrees is equal to 45 degrees, divide both sides by 3, I get x degrees is equal to 15 degrees. And notice, that's the answer for 3. x must be equal to, and I guess I should put x degrees there, so this is like this. Uh, x must be equal to 15 degrees for lines A and B to be parallel to one another. And that is how it's done.